What's going on, Beastaff Fishing Nation? You might hear a dog barking in the background, and it's not my boy Smokey, it's my next door neighbor, Dash. It is Columbus Day. Happy Columbus Day. Monday, October 9th. I'm changing things up here. We ain't fishing. It's been blowing down the shore. I can't even tell you how badly. So, but it's, it's, if you look at some of the trees here, they're moving, right? They are moving. So long and short, we are here at the B-Stav Hacienda. El, El Caso, Caso, La Casa, La Casa de Mi. So, I can't fish. It, it, it's, it's 25 mile an hour gusts down the shore, rocking and rolling. So what am I going to do? Today, we're firing up the Traeger Smoker. A little pellet smoke. We're gonna do a pork butt. It's gonna be like eight hours, maybe longer, before this thing's ready to eat. So it's light out. Look, where's, where's the sun? I mean, it, the sun is shining. Probably gonna be like nine o'clock until I can actually eat this thing. But let's rock and roll. Let's uh, change things up and let's smoke some pork butt, do a little pulled pork. What do you think? Let's go. Yo, Dasher, what's up, buddy? He's back there somewhere. <laughs> Let's go. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Let's go smoke some pork. Alrighty, righty, B-Staff Fishing Nation. Woo -hoo -hoo. Went to the local uh, shop, right? A lot of the butchers are closed today. And woo, slap your mama. We got us a uh, prime pork butt. It's the uh, chairman's reserve. Get out of here. So, got to pop this puppy open. That's here is my Victorinox little rosewood handle boning knife. If you guys want, are interested in that, want the link to that, I'll leave a link down below. I'm pretty sure I got that off of Amazon. Let's cut this puppy open. Let's see what we got here. So, we're going to do a little bit of a trim, right? A little bit of a trim on this. Not, not a lot so this isn't you're not trimming this like a brisket you know you're really cutting cutting a lot of fat off but i am going to cut some of the fat off okay i'm going to cut some of the fat off so let's get rid of let's get let's in fact let's flip it right over get rid of this all right let's patter dry a little bit here get rid of some of that blood okay all right some of this i'm taking i'm taking this away right so you know what, we'll start right on the right on the back. We're gonna cut a lot of this out. A lot of this is just, it's not gonna cook down, it's not gonna cook out. And honestly, it, it's pretty pretty nasty. So just very easy, very slowly trim it away, right? Trim it away. Be careful, because this Victorinox is ridiculously sharp, right? Ridiculously sharp. We'll just keep trimming, just keep trimming. So you can see, I mean, this is almost like fillet knife. This is actually fillet knife sharp. I mean, it is a, it's a uh, professional boning knife. So, all right. I don't want to kill the meat, right? I don't want anything hanging off of it. Like, let's get rid of some of this here. All righty, get rid of that. Take some of this out. Guys, I got myself a little bit of string cheese here. I'm starving. I went to the gym. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I got right now the worst case of chiggers I've had in 30 years. Uh, I was at Captain Jerry Lynch's farm and uh, meeting up with him and Bucktail Johnny. The boys are down in North Carolina right now, muzzle loading for deer and Bucktail Johnny was at Jerry's, Captain Jerry's sighting in his, his muzzle loader. So I met them there after I uh, went and replaced the bilge pump motor on the off course and of course when i'm on the boat what am i wearing shorts flip-flops well i walked went on captain jerry's property and not good oh my goodness i got killed i thought i was careful where i walked but apparently i wasn't all right guys i just think i just stabbed myself all right let's get rid of this little line of whatever this is not too much of it but get some of this out of there right Guys, just be careful. You know, like when we're filleting fish, you can't mess around. You got to be real careful. But I'm not going to 
you know, I don't want to mutilate this thing. The one thing we definitely don't want to do is cut our fingers, right? So that's part, that, that fat line there separates some of the muscles. This is it's your money shot right there. It's the money meat. Get a little of this. Ah, looks good. Looks good, looks good. Flip her over. Anything hanging off you want to get rid of right in these little, little hanger-ons. You want to get rid of that. Reason being is they'll burn and it just won't render. Oh, this looks pretty good. Get rid of that. It's good there. That'll cook down. Looking good. Okay. Looking good. Somebody gashed that with a knife. But we got now. So this is bone in, right? This is a bone in, bone in pork butt. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to, let's get a little of this out of there. Just a little. Ah, you know what? That wasn't too bad. A little out. Because honestly, the more meat I have exposed, the more rub beyond edible meat, the more delicious everything becomes. All right. So. Let's get rid of this nastiness, yuckness, okay? Normally, if that was beef, I would render that fat down. However, because, because it is pork, I do not render it down. Let's take a little more of this, this off here. This is pretty thick. All right. Slip under here a little bit and see what we do. That way. Come here this way. All right. Oh, caught a little meat with that. All right, we're good. All right, guys. So, some people like to use a binder. Some people don't. Me personally, I like to use a binder. Now, listen, I'm using gloves because everybody gets bananas when you do anything like this without gloves. I will say... You got to wipe everything down. Everything is going to be disinfected afterwards, okay? All my rubs, everything like that. And I'm using yellow mustard. Regular, just plain old yellow mustard as a binder, okay? Oh, boy. Not a lot. You don't have to go crazy. But that binder, that yellow mustard will not affect, will not affect flavor at all. It's literally, some people use olive oil, right? Some people will use... Uh, some people even use water. Go so far as to just use water. All right, but that's that. That's our binder. Oh boy, sweet Jesus! Get ourselves cleaned up here a little bit. Listen, I'll wash my hands with these gloves on as if I was washing my hands normally. So, get rid of that, guys. I am a meat church devotee when it comes to cooking their way. And using their rubs. So this here is the Holy Gospel Barbecue Rub from Meat Church. Incredible. This is also the Honey Hog Barbecue. So we're going to do a little of both. Okay, a little of both. Pretty liberally apply this, right? Very liberally. Rub it in, pat it down. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna, once we do this, we're going to let this sit. And it's actually going to sweat and adhere. Okay, and it's going to almost glaze over. We're going to let that sit for the better part of no less than 15 minutes. Okay, no less than 15 minutes. My Traeger is already heated up. Heated up to 275 degrees. So I'm a little ahead of the game. A little ahead of the game, but all right, let's switch her up. We can get her on this side here. You know, we'll hold her up. But uh, you want you want this to sit on here, okay, for a little bit, and you'll see it'll start to get wet. It'll get glazy. It actually draws draws out some of the moisture. Okay, where are we at here? Just go like this. Nice, looking good. Okay, let's give this side a little of that bone. You'll notice it's done right when that bone slips right out when you pull it out and get ready to eat this. And that bone comes sliding right out. All right, so we're good, pretty good there. All right, Beast Ave Fishing Nation. Uh, my apologies for the, the camera angle. I should have went wide here, the super view. Um, I was trying to work on the tilt on my camera. So I started out with the gospel 
And now I'm going to go over top of it with the Honey Hog Barbecue, okay? So we're going to put uh, a double application of rub on all sides, okay? So the, the top, the back, and then uh, all four all four edges or all four sides, okay? So you want to complete, completely cover um, the entire piece of meat with your rub and let it sit for no less than 15 minutes. And that's what we did. And this baby went on to the Traeger smoker. I initially said 275 degrees, but this is a little smaller pork butt. So I dropped back down to maybe 250, 255. And then throughout the course of the cook, the course of the smoke, I adjusted the temperature if I needed to speed things up a little bit because it was going to start getting late. And I don't think I ate this until about nine o'clock at night. Just so you know uh, what pellets we're using. Now listen, I love Traeger's pellets, okay? Um, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but it's basically like they're all-purpose pellets. And I've had some really great smokes with them. However, right now my hopper, last cook I did uh, was a brisket. And my hopper is filled with Bear Mountain Premium Barbecue Woods Gourmet Barbecue Blend. Uh, it's a crafted blend, balanced, sweet, smoky flavor, 100% natural, premium hardwood pellets, guys. That's um, it's important. That's important because you got to be careful. A lot of uh, things have fillers. Get that out of there. Fillers and flavors and dust. And these are 100% natural, premium hardwood pellets. Bear Mountain Gourmet Blend. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, I said I was gonna do this at 275, but this is a smaller pork butt, so I dropped down to about 265. You just gotta keep an eye on uh, your cook. You gotta maintain your cook. You can't, you know, just let it roll for too long unattended. However, this will take a couple hours until we get a good bark that sets up and we reach an internal temperature of about 165 degrees. At that point in time, I'm gonna pull the pork, the butt off of the Traeger we're going to wrap it up. I'll show you how we do that. And then we're going to let her ride until she hits an internal temperature of about 202 to 205. All right. Let's top off our hopper. It is important to keep your hopper filled. I've made that mistake once where my hopper emptied uh, emptied out while I was away. My cook completely stopped dead in its tracks. That's a mistake I made once and only once. She's sweating up pretty good. Everything's adhered, sweating up. That's gonna make one heck of an amazing bark. So let's get this butt on that smoker. See you in several hours. Oh, we got a little extra here. Oh my goodness, give it a little bang. See ya. Alrighty, B Stab Fishing Nation. We're not like the B Stab Grilling Nation. Um, so the pork butt has been on the trigger. Was going to start at 275. I dropped down to like 250, 255. I pushed it back up to 270. Problem is, I got a late start today. There's a possibility I'm not gonna be finished until 9, 10 o'clock tonight. I should have bought this today, started tomorrow morning, but hey, it is what it is. You know what, it's okay. If I'm eating at uh, nine o'clock tonight, I'll watch our Phillies, hopefully beat the Braves, and uh, I'll have myself some pulled pork. All righty, let's take a look at the progress. Now I just opened her up. She's been rolling in that smoke now for about two and a half hours total. Uh, so it is now what, almost about quarter after three. I put it on a little before one, so I guess it's like 12.30ish. And uh, she's rolling pretty good. So let's see what she looks like. And uh, I'm gonna give her a little, a little uh, squirt. Some apple cider vinegar and water. 
Now she's looking pretty good. Looking pretty moist too. Uh oh, there's Dasher, my neighbor's dog's Dasher. Barking with my boy Smokey out there. The manly boy would be Smokey. All right, let's give us a little squirt. A little apple cider vinegar and water. Just a liberal squirt, nothing too crazy. All right, she's looking good. She's got a nice, nice red, red color to her. Hopefully we can get a nice bark built up. Let's shut her down. Let her continue to roll. All righty, Beast Ave Fishing Nation. Let's, uh, let me just show you what's next, okay? So, uh, once we hit about 174 degrees, and I'm around 165.4 right now. So once we hit about 174 degrees, we're going to go into the cover stage so the pork butts coming out going in this pan here i'm going to top it with uh, some butter and some high quality butter going to well before the butter goes on i'm going to put some of the meat church honey hog barbecue uh, rub on top all right so that's our meat church honey hog delicious okay i'm going to sprinkle ever so lightly and I mean ever so lightly, just a little bit of cayenne, just to add a little bit of heat. But then we're going to go very high quality butter, some brown sugar, a little Reynolds wrap. We're going to cover her up and let her ride it out until she's about 204, 205 degrees. All right, let's see how she's looking. So I'm only, I'm having a little issue. My, my probe, you look down here. My probe is saying it's 185 degrees. That's not the case at all. I thought I calibrated it with an offset, not working. So let's see what we got. She's looking, looking really good. Looking really good. Let's see where the probe's at. When I use my Insta Probe, major difference. Major difference in. Look, major difference in the temperature. So, I don't know. Um, I just can't trust the uh, the probe that came with this uh, with this grill. I might be doing something wrong. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just I've never been able to trust it. So I use an Insta probe, and it gives me an immediate temperature. So we'll check back. We got to let her ride. Let her keep on uh, rocking and rolling. Oh, who, who we got here? Come here, buddy. Here's my boy. There's smokers. What are you doing, pal? All right. Get out of here, yo. Oh, what are we doing? Yeah, you know it. We might get a little bit of pork, right, pal? I'll give you a little bit. Good job. It's time for his dinner, too. All right, guys. We'll check back in a little bit. All righty. Here we go. B-Stab Fishing Nation. Internal temperature, 174, 75 degrees. She's coming off. She's looking good. Apologize for it's a little dark out here. Oh my goodness. Let's take that probe out. We'll hang that probe here for a second. All right, we are going to put her right in this tray. Move this out here. Make sure we don't drop it. Oh, she looks good. In fact, you know what, guys? I'm not even going to play games. Let's get it. Let's move it a little bit. Do this. Boom, boom, right there. And done. No chance of dropping it. What do you think? She's looking good, huh? Looking real good. Nice bark. Can't wait. Hopefully, she'll have a little bit of a bite. Okay. I'm come right up here. Uh oh, what's happening here? Oh, that's our, that's our low alarm. It's our, it's too, too low alarm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There we go. I love that thing. All righty. Uh, let's see. Let's spin this around so you guys could actually see what I'm doing here. What do you think? Spin this around. Get the Reynolds wrap over here. All right. So first what we're going to do. Man, she smells. She smells good, guys. She smells real good. All right. First what we're going to do, we're going to put a layer, like I said, the honey barbecue meat church. Give her a little... 
a little dust into that. A hefty dust too. If it falls down below, no big deal. Because we're worried about the juice. All right, looking good. Awesome. Mmm, that's good. That's good stuff. Sweet honey, honey hog barbecue. Got a little sweet now. A little bit of cayenne pepper because I want to. I want to give it a little bit of heat, but not a lot, right? Not a lot. And cayenne pepper could jack you up. So we're just going to do a little bit. And honestly, that's it. That's all we're doing. Uh oh, what happened here? Shut her down. Let's shut her down. All right. Put our butter on top. Pads of butter. I think what's it called? Kerry Fresh butter. Oh my goodness. This is some decent, definitely some tasty. Tasty butter. Guys, listen. I'm telling you right now. If you thought I was making a healthy meal, were you gonna not gain weight? You're watching watching a wrong channel right now, guys. Because this is all all about flavor. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. You know, you feel so good. So we're going to go a little hot. Right? Now a little sweet. Oh, we lost a pat of butter already. We're going to lose it all again. Alright. A little bit in there. That's going to make the au jus. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be something else. All right, we got your hot, we got your sweet. And one more for my homies in Rouge. Guys, my hands were clean before I came out. And listen, <laughs> it's my channel, it's my... My channel and uh, my pork butt. So, all right, let's get this. So now this is the covering stage. We're gonna get it all covered up. They're all covered up real nice. Okay, this application here, this is kind of important. You think, ah, it's no big deal. But I don't have the real large aluminum foil. So what I want to do, it's going to use a little more. You know, you just, you want to make sure that whatever steam Okay, that's that's what it's about right now. It's about it's about the steam. It's about flavor. It's about keeping everything inside of this tent, inside of this container. So, if you don't have one big piece to go over, I'll use four, five, six pieces if I have to. But you want to make sure everything's tight. This pork butt works it all on its own. I don't have real real wide. Aluminum foil, so just use a couple extra pieces and get her nice and tight. So she steams up. Okay, we're gonna go until our internal temperature is 200. I'm looking 202 to 204. More importantly, as I'm probing later on, so we're gonna have a couple hours for just the ride now. As I'm probing. She has to be nice and soft, nice and tender. Probe basically got to go in like you were sticking it into, you know, the old saying, hot knife and warm butter. It should just go straight in, almost fall straight into the, into the meat. Okay, she's wrapped up nice and tight. She's going to go back on. So we get an eternal temperature of 202. Okay. So I will set my probes up. Oh, that's hot on the bottom. Oh my gosh. I will set the probe up. Ah, sweet cheese, that was hot. Alrighty. 
get my glove back on here set that probe the probe will be dialed in so let me know when we are at about 202 and then I'll come back out here and guarantee I'll be checking all right that's it guys I'm gonna let her ride for another couple hours all right let's give her a check internal temperatures 203 it says on the one probe let's see what it says on this probe there but this thing is not going in easy right oh. that's some thin it that's thin it's two of two ten still want to let it go for a little bit still want to let her ride for a bit 205 on the internal. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that just falls right in there. Woo! 207. Let's try over right here. Falls right in. Woo! I think we're done, guys. Yeah, that just goes right through. Look how easy. Oh. Temperature is your guide, right? That's your baseline, but feel is your gauge. Go by feel. Feel wins over temperature every time. With the temperature, but it's a lot of this is by feel, you know? A lot of this is by feel. So now we need to get this probe out. Where are we at here? This probe out, we're gonna bring it inside. We're gonna go for the big reveal. All right, let's get this probe out of here. So with these triggers, probe comes out, but you have a little area you can put your probe through. In and out. Awesome. This here's my Therma Pro. It actually has four probes, thermometer probes. So um, I'll put a link to that down below as well. That's off. Take that inside. Clean that up. Let's pull this off and we're going to put our trigger into shutdown cycle. It's about a 15 minute cycle. Oh boy, does it smell good. Oh my goodness, this smells good. All right, guys, stick around. It's time to eat dinner finally. All right, B Staff Fishing Nation. It's the big reveal. Guys, I, I, I wish, what do they always say? I wish we had smell -o vision Oh my God, this smells, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. I already see it pulled away from the, the bone. Oh my God, everybody. I, I can't even begin to tell you how good this smells. Let's see the bone. Yup. Guys, that bone just worked this way. It just comes right out. Boop. Boop. A little bit of meat left there. Take that meat off. Oh my goodness. Bone pulls right out. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. Wow, look at the smoke that's in there. You can see. See the red in there. That's the smoke that got through. Holy mackerel. See what we got. Holy macaronis. 
Look at that. Smoke through there. Can you see the ring? See that smoke got in there? Oh my goodness. All right, guys. I got to take a bite of this. <laughs> Just stand by. Hang on. Got a little sweet baby rays. I'm gonna mix it up with that, but I'm gonna just I'm just gonna have myself a a slice piece just as it is. Hold on here. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Well, I think I'm gonna have this piece right here. Mmm. Mmm. Before we break it apart, we need to let it rest. So, I just thought about it. I was almost going to start pulling this thing apart. It has to rest about 20, 30 minutes. So, check back. Oh my God, it was so good. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh my God, guys, I'm telling you, I've taken a couple little bites here and there. And unbelievable. Unbelievable. This little piece here. Get a little dip in some baby rays, sweet baby rays. Sweet and spicy. Oh. That's good. I've never had that before. Sweet and spicy. <clears throat> oh, it's got a little bite to it. Oh boy. Woo! Look at that. Ah, that's hot. Oh, I need my fork. That's good. Sweet baby rays. Mm. Guys, this is unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna get a knife. I'm trying to cut this apart. Let me see if I can get at least a slice down the middle. Let's see what we're looking at. Let's just look at this knife. Boop. Going right through it. Right through it like it was nothing. Look at this. God almighty. Guys, it's just falling apart. Oh, yeah. Man, juicy. Phenomenal. All right, let's see if we can pull her apart here. If I can get you a better, better angle. I need a piece of this over here. That's the money spot. Oh boy. That's the money meat right there. We're going to leave that off to the side. I'm going to mess with that. Let's pull you out. Now that juice, that au jus. Guys, that's that. All the butter, the drippings. The butter, the drippings. The extra spice that I put on, extra rub. Oh my goodness, look at that. No, I don't even know why I'm using a knife. You don't need to use a, a knife on that. Mm. Woo! I'm going to give that a shot. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm wearing this goofy hat. Guys, let's see. Just look, look at the bark on that. Can you see that? Let me give it a shot. I don't want to dip it in anything. Maybe a little of that juice that it was in that it created. Mm. Guys, this was a simple, simple cook. You can make a couple twists and turns how you want, you know, your own personal spin on it, your own personal preference, but that's just, just delicious. All right. I want to get back and watch the Phillies beat the Braves. And uh, I'm going to pull this apart. I'm going to absorb all these other juices in the au jus. We'll call it a night. Guys, thanks for watching. Pulled pork. Smoking a uh, pork butt. I've got uh, I've got dinner and lunch. 
for the next few days. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Fire your Traeger or whatever smoker of your choice is. Fire it up. Go smoking.